Ever since last month's federal indictment of Dr. Eugene Gosi in Williamsville, patients all over western New York have been saying that they've been wrongly portrayed as addicts. And some believe the health insurance industry is not doing enough to help people who are truly addicted to opiates. But providers tell 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley they're doing everything they can to help those in need. We pay for insurance under the understanding that we are going to get help when we need it. But too often, people with a family member addicted to opioids say that is not happening. Donna Rose from Elba said her son has been revived and saved three times by naloxone after he overdosed on heroin. And still, she cannot get her insurance company to pay for his needed treatment. There have been many denials along the way. Last night during a special meeting at Genesee Community College, representatives from the state attorney general's office listened as people described the problems they're having with getting insurance coverage for addiction treatment. It's about speaking truth to power. The health insurance industry says it is restricted by state requirements about who can be placed into inpatient treatment. Um, what is appropriate and deemed, you know, medically necessary isn't always, it doesn't match up with what people want. There are medicines such as Vivitrol that can help people break opioid addictions, but they're not being widely used. Do I want to give Vivitrol to a patient? Um, oftentimes there's a lot of hoops I have to jump through to get through pre-authorization, and many times I can't get it approved anyway. The health insurance industry says it is a complex issue because of state regulations and a shortage of doctors certified to handle medicines that are used to treat the addictions. And that shortage is growing. Today, Dr. Gosi's office denounced it can no longer issue prescriptions for Suboxone and Buprenorphine because the doctors running the office under a temporary arrangement are not certified. It's not something that any prescriber can just or any doctor can just prescribe. The insurance industry says it is pushing to get better education about the dangers associated with opioids. So that we don't open the door for addiction to begin with. Now to help out, Governor Cuomo's office announced it is adding $1 million to help New Yorkers get connected to addiction treatment services. Here in Western New York, some of that money is being given to Western New York Independent Living to support on-call peer outreach and family support for people dealing with addictions. Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Ed.